Good God morning. It's me, Rosa J, doing it God's way each and every day. And I am here again today to talk about the Course in Miracles. Let me introduce myself. I am Rosa J. Hodge, Minister Rosa J. Hodge. I have been doing this for the last 67 days. But actually, I started this process way back when in 2009, going through a course in miracles. And what I have received from that is freedom. I have become, and that's not all the time, and I check myself constantly. I erase those thoughts that are not true. I recognize the difference between God's truth and my ego speaking untruths. I have become more free. I have become more forgiving more loving, more acceptable of people and, and the things in the world that I cannot control. I pray more, I bless more, I love more. And so with that being said, let us get ready to go through day, today's lesson. And today's lesson is lesson 67, yes? Love created me like itself. Love created me like itself. Now think about that for a minute. Just arbitrarily think about it. Don't put any reason to it. Love created me like itself. Genesis says, in the beginning, God created man. He blew his image into man. So now what does that mean? That means that God is love. That's my premise. I know this for truth. And I also know that if God is love, guess who else is love? Guess who else is love? I am. You are. We are. For he created us in his image and likeness. And his likeness is love. And his image is us. I often think sometimes that God created man so that he could feel the things that the spirit cannot feel. He created Jesus to show us how to get through this life on earth. Once we come from the spirit, show plane into a physical body. We need someone to show us the way. And Jesus Christ is that, that showing of the way the way to be more like love, to be more accepting of, to manifest things that we desire because God creates everything. And guess what? I truly believe that we can too, right? So anyway, let's get to the message. You believe that or you don't have to. Just stay open. That's all I say. Stay open to receive more. For when I ask God for more, he gave me this, A Course in Miracles. He opened me to receive it. So I'm saying to you, be open to receive the love of God, who he created you to be, love. So today's idea is complete and accurate, and, uh, is, excuse me. Today's idea is a complete and accurate statement of what you are. This is why you are the light of the world. This is why God appointed you as the world's savior. This is why the son of God looks to you for his salvation. He is saved by what you are. We will make every effort today to reach this truth about you and to realize fully, if only for a moment, that this is the truth. Mm. Only for a moment. That's all you have to do. Just be there for a moment. In the longer practice periods, we will think about your reality and its wholly unchanged and unchangeable nature. We will begin by repeating this truth about you and then spend a few moments adding some relative thoughts. 
Okay, so now what are we going to think about first? We're going to think about love created me like itself. Love created me like itself. And then we're going to think about the things that God is. Holiness created me holy. Kindness created me kind. Helpfulness created me helpful. Perfection created me perfect. Acceptance created me accepting and so on. Any attribute which is in a, is in accord with God as he defines himself is appropriate for use. Mm. God is faithful. Therefore, he created me faithful. God is lovingly loving. Therefore, he created me loving. What we're trying to do here today is to undo your definition of God and replace it with his own. We are also trying to emphasize that you are part of his definition of himself. Remember, he created us in his image and likeness. So whatever he is, guess what? So are we. God is love. God is happiness, God is kind, God is faithful, God is trustworthy, God is amazing. After you have gone over several such related thoughts, try to let all thoughts drop away for a brief interval. And then try to reach past all those images and perceptions about yourself to the truth in who you are. If love created you like itself, it this self must be in you. And somewhere in your mind, there is, it is there for you to find. Somewhere in your mind, all that goodness is there for you to find. It just has to be. That's all there is. There is no other thing like God but you. Yes, yes. God created you like himself and God is love. So therefore, so are you. After you've gone over several such related thoughts, try to let all thoughts drop away. Oh, I said that for a brief period, and then come back to it. And remember, you are the image and likeness of God, and God is love, so therefore you are too. Try, if you find it necessary to repeat the idea for today from time to time, to replace, replace distracting thoughts, you may also find that it is not sufficient that you need to continue adding other thoughts related to the truth about who you are. Yet, perhaps you will succeed in going past that. And through the intervals of thoughtlessness, you, you'll pass through the image of thoughtlessness to the awareness of the blazing light in which you recognize yourself as love created you. That's what this is all about. Recognizing that love created you. Be confident that you will do much today to bring that awareness near. Whether you feel you have succeeded or not, just by saying that thought, love created me. Love created me. God, love created me like itself. God created me like itself. Try to realize 
in the shorter practice periods that this is not your tiny solitary voice that tells you this. This is the voice of God. This is the voice for God. This is the voice of God reminding you of your father and of yourself. This is the voice of truth replacing everything that ego tells you about yourself with a simple truth about the Son of God. And guess what? You know that we are the sons of God. You are created by love itself. You are created by love like itself. There is no other truth. Therefore, if God is love, so are you, so am I, so is everyone. I hold this truth to be true, and I pray that you learn this too. Hey, how are you, Chris? It's a long time no see. How's life treating you? Hey, Arlene, how are you? It's great to see you. So let's repeat. Love created me like itself. Love created me like itself. You can replace love with God because they are synonymous. They are the same. God created me like himself. God created me like itself. God created me like itself. I am love because God is love. We know this to be true. And sometimes our ego wants to take us out of that place and put other kinds of adjectives towards us, but that's not true. The truth is, and always will be, love created me like itself. God created me like itself. God is faithful, therefore I was created faithful. I, God is happiness, therefore I was created happy. God created joy, peace, so I walk in that. And whenever your mind wants to tell you something crazy that you're questioning, come back to Love created me like itself. I am Rosa J and I love you guys. Share this out because somebody needs to know the truth. I share this with you because I love you. Because I, if I can change, God knows anybody can change. <laughs> Folks that knew me when, oh my God, they got, I'm sure they tell you some stories. I am a changed person and only God could change me because I asked to be changed. I want more for me. I want more for you. And if I want that for me, guess what? Everybody else gets it. Everybody else gets it, whether they realize it or not. I was listening this morning to um, Dr. Tony Lux, who is a bishop from my church. Love created me like itself. He sure did, Ali. And I love you. I love you. And that's what we have to do. Well, anyway, she was talking about the same thing that we're talking about today. To recognize who you are in truth, not in outward stuff, in truth. Not an emotion, because we still are at the point where we're still not controlling our emotions. We are still opening to our awareness to be put in check by ourselves when we say something, think something, react to something in a negative way. I don't think that happened to Jesus, except for once. And even when, and, and, and this is me. Even when I used, I read the Aquarian Gospels, even when he was walking with the masters, learning to be more, he never argued with them. He never fussed with them. He never um, questioned what they were teaching him. He just sat back and inhaled it so that it became who he was. And then at 33, he stepped out in the world to share all that he had learned. And we accept him as a teacher, as a rabbi, as a, a sensei. We accept him as the teacher from which God gave us to learn. We are the Christ. 
We are beginning to be that. We are beginning to love and let go of all kinds of negative stuff, clearing our energy and becoming aware of who we are. So remember today, when you come across any dis-ease in your spirit, in your body, say to yourself, love created me like itself. You'd be surprised what small statements of truth can do to change whatever's going on outside of you. So I am Rosa J, doing it God's way each and every day. And I thank you for joining me. I thank you for sharing this out, posting it on your page. Please go to my YouTube channel. It's in the um, description and subscribe. All of my YouTube videos are there. And I've been talking about this for a while. Hey, Kathy, how are you? So I want to say good morning to everyone and have a good God day. Walk in love, no matter how the world shows up. And everything else will change in an instant. Be blessed. I love you. And there's nothing that could ever affect that truth. Namaste, the God in me honors, loves, and respects the God in you. See you tomorrow. And you know what? Oh, there you are. Ah, hi.